In northern Utah, one hospital now offering the monoclonal antibody infusion treatment for COVID-19 patients. ABC4 Northern Utah correspondent Cade Gardner tells us why that treatment both excites and worries health officials. What we do know is we have good treatments. During the current wave of COVID-19 hospitalizations in Davis County, the future is uncertain, but health officials are excited about emerging treatments. That end result of mortality or death, you know, it, it, it's been low. At the Davis Hospital and Medical Center, they are now offering monoclonal antibody infusions for COVID-19 patients. And that's only one tool that is in our arsenal to be able to try and um, help people. Chief Nursing Officer Chris Johnson says they are excited to have the new tool in the fight against the illness, but it also worries them. What I think is concerning is that a lot of people think that it's okay not to be vaccinated because we can just go and get the that particular infusion. Even with new treatments and increased vaccination rates, Davis County is seeing an increase in COVID-19 hospitalizations. The concern right now is the lack of beds available and staffing to, to keep up with those. The new treatments help patients get well quicker, but they don't prevent hospitals from filling up. It isn't the answer. The answer is to truly become vaccinated. Johnson says getting vaccinated isn't just about keeping one person healthy. The choices that they make truly do have a bigger impact. Um, it, the ripples certainly affect our community because of the choices that people make. In Layton, Kate Garner, ABC4 News. In Davis County, about 30% of the eligible population is still unvaccinated against COVID-19.